Hi and welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a character and once we've established its basic proportions using a simple roadmap, we're then going to draw them in various actions and poses, or as I like to call it, putting a character through its paces. At the end, we will draw all the poses to their completion, but the true point of this exercise is to get you to loosen up and to get your characters moving. We'll start off fairly simple by using the character Pikachu for today's exercise. If all goes well, I'd like to make this a regular feature. This is a very good exercise for those looking to learn how to add action and energy to all of their drawings. And besides, it's fun. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. Easy peasy, right? Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow. And hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. All right, so let's put Pikachu through his paces. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. Pikachu is exactly two heads tall, not counting his ears. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is two of those. What we're going to now do is establish a basic roadmap for Pikachu, and then use that to draw him in various poses and actions using light lines and simple shapes. All right, so let's put Pikachu through his paces. Okay, so how do we do? Let me remind you to draw light and loose. Not always easy if you've never drawn this way. Trust me, the more you do this, the better you will be at drawing in general. So now let's go back to our thumbnails and begin to rough out the features a little. Much like I do in the second step of all my Level Up cartooning videos. Always remember that until the third and final step to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Pikachu's eyes, mouth, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. So let's rough out Pikachu's features.
Okay, so we've roughed out the features for our Pikachu thumbnails that we drew. And with that, Pikachu begins to look well, like Pikachu. So now having roughed out the features, we might as well draw in the final details. Having done all the hard work to get the character's position and proportions right, creating action poses and roughing out the features, this last step is like having dessert. Although these will be the final lines you draw to define the character, the idea is not to just trace a super dark line over the line that's already there without thinking. You want to always draw with an eye on improving that drawing until the very end. So let's draw in the details for our Pikachu exercise. And there you have it, the finished Pikachu action drawings. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never done an exercise like this before, then you cannot expect to have drawn Pikachu perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring them during this video because the purpose and the focus of this, and all my lessons for that matter, is the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Pikachu, and with that you can draw them again and again. And by all means, color them when you're done. I promise the more you do this type of exercise, the better you're going to get, not just at Pikachu, but all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link to my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details behind each step and what I call the level up cartooning process. So now I'd love to see your Pikachu exercise drawing. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.